Hey, hey everybody, Marcel Ernie Racing News. This is Ernie Racing Daily Rumble, uh, where we're broadcasting onto YouTube to start and rumble, and then the YouTube broadcast will end around 10 minutes and we'll go exclusively on rumble so we can talk about the real issues uncensored and essentially get everybody off of sensor tube slowly because I know a lot of people. You know, they're not used to the Rumble platform, um, and uh, so yeah, let's get into the news topic. So we're going to talk about the Dutch farmers' protest, we're talking about the president of Honduras, and the One China policy for diplomatic relations to Taiwan. We're talking about Boris Johnson is going to be questioned in Parliament over Partygate. Um, Malaysia's joined Indonesia in condemning the AUKUS deal for the US-UK Australia nuclear submarines. The FDA has authorized Pfizer's Omicron booster to be given to children younger than five if they've had the three previous shots. Um, there's a new home test kit to tell you if it's COVID or the flu. And uh, Russians uh, officials put a, a statement out that they are going to try and recover the US drone that crashed into the Black Sea on Tuesday. I did a story on that the other day as well. Um, you know, the gold market, Bitcoin, et cetera, et cetera. Um, oh yeah, uh, Congress tries to protect online speech, so we'll get into a bill that uh, has been passed to protect online speech. Um, Ukraine and they're trying to do cyber army. They're trying to get their uh, cyber specialized hackers to work for them on the government side as a cyber reserve unit. Uh, what else have we got going on? Pfizer, you know, they still want to extend the contracts for Europe to get paid for sh vaccines that they, vaccines that they don't even make. They want to get paid because nobody's buying, nobody wants them. And a few things in the trending news, Ryan Reynolds, he sold his Mint Mobile, T-Mobile for $1.35 billion. And uh, yeah, so anyways, that's uh, the cap of the news. So let's just uh, start at the top. Okay, the first news of the day is fantastic. The Dutch Farmers Protest Party scores big election win, shaking up the Senate of the Netherlands. See guys, protesting, getting in the streets, it does work sometimes. And this is one very good example of the Dutch farmers have prevailed in the election. And so we can only hope the same will happen at the next election with the People's Party of Canada. It is about time that we get some uh, sovereignty in Canada and not having these woke people controlling us. Like, oh my God, that Calgary mayor, which she's doing right now, arresting Pastor Derek again. Uh, we'll get. Oh, then that's another story we'll talk about in detail as well. And we have the footage of his full arrest. The full video of his arrest is now being uploaded onto Rumble only, of course. You know, screw YouTube. We're done with them. So Amsterdam, March 15th. So just yesterday, a farmer's protest party shook up the political landscape in the Netherlands on Wednesday, emerging as the big winner in provincial elections that determine the makeup of the Senate. The BBBB or Boer Burger Buagin Farmer Citizen Movement, quotations, party rode a wave of protests against the government's environmental policies and looked to have set to have won more Senate seats than Prime Minister Mark Root's conservative VVD party. And it brings it back Mark Root, who is the globalist at the World Economic Forum. Just like Trudeau, but he's even like more obvious about it with the WEF and, you know, essentially coming back from the WEF and then saying, okay, we have a policy, 3,000 farms, we're buying your land, you have to sell us your land, you got emission targets, we're cutting the farmers out, we're taking over. And he was not uh, hiding it whatsoever. And he's a conservative in the Netherlands, conservative, another it's just a fake name. There's no such thing as conservatives anymore unless you have real conservative values with like the PPC in Canada. Um, the first exit poll projected that the BBB, again, the Farmer Citizen Movement, won 15 of the total of 75 seats in the Senate, which has the power to block legislation agreed in the lower House of Parliament with the 
conservative roots vvd dropping from 12 to 10 seats okay so it got two seat drop um the rise of the bbb is a major blow to roots governing coalition oh he's got a coalition too ndp and liberal casting doubt over its aim to drastically cut nitrogen pollution on farmer farms and the single issue upon which bbb was founded in 2019 Nobody can ignore us anymore, says the Farmers Party. Leader Caroline Vanderplus told Broadcast Radio 1, Voters have spoken out very clearly against the government's policies. The government aims to cut nitrogen emissions in half by 2030, as relatively large numbers of livestock and heavy use of fertilizers have led to levels of nitrogen oxide in the soil and water that violate European Union regulations. The nitrogen problem has crippled construction in the Netherlands as environmental groups have won a string of court cases ordering the government to limit emissions and preserve nature before building permits can be granted. The Farmers Party says the problem has been exaggerated and that proposed solutions are fairly unfairly balanced against farmers leading to the closure of many farms and food production shortages. Roots government has not had a Senate majority since the previous provincial elections in 2019 and must negotiate deals with mostly left-wing opponents. The two most cooperative parties, the Labour and the Green Left, oh, the Green Party Left, looked, the, looked set to have held on to their seats, keeping their combined group at a par with the Farmers Party and possibly enough to maintain support for Roots policies. The Farmers Party won a single lower house seat in 2021 but his popularity has surged on the back of growing distrust of the government and anger over issues such as immigration roots government in its fourth consecutive term since 2010 has dropped to a 20 percent approval rating its lowest in a decade well of course it has nobody likes you root all right on to the next okay so the president of honduras announced that her country would recognize a one china policy and end diplomatic relations with Taiwan. Now, she made a tweet, and I can't even say her name, Dezalala, Dezala is the last of it, um, and she tweeted, of course, in Spanish, but I've translated her tweet. I have instructed Chancellor Eduardo Rina to manage the opening of official relations with the People's Republic of China as a sign of my determination to comply with the government plan and expand the borders freely in concert with the nations of the world. Okay, next we have former Prime Minister Boris Johnson will face questions in Parliament next week over Partygate. So let's get into it. Boris, does he, he kind of reminds me of the, the, the character on a Netflix series that gets, uh, has to fuck a pig, right? He kind of reminds me of that guy. <laughs> That's right, there he is, there's Boris. <laughs> it was a Black Mirror episode. <laughs> Super strange one, but that reminds me of that. So, Boris will be grilled um, by MPs at 2 p.m. next Wednesday on whether he lied to Parliament over what he knew about Partygate. Until, no, until now, an exact date was unknown, but now it's happening. The committee has announced Mr. Johnson accepted the invitation. Yeah, who cares? If he is found to have deliberately lied about what he knew, he could have he could be suspended from the Commons, which could even trigger a by-election in his seat. And there he is. So remember when everyone was in lockdown, but then Boris and his co cohorts had a party, a, a drinking party, while well, everybody else was locked in their homes. That's what we're talking about here. Okay, and into the FDA authorizes Pfizer COVID Omicron booster as fourth shot for kids under five. Their fourth shot. Wow, if they make it that far, that's crazy, huh? Children six months through four years old who are completed their three-dose primary series. Six month old. You know, how careful are we with, you know, are, are we, how careful are people when they're pregnant, or women, I should say, how careful are women when they're pregnant, you know, don't drink too much coffee, I guess, um, don't drink alcohol, don't smoke cigarettes, you know, be a careful with your diet, be careful with your exercise, make, you know, uh, be healthy as possible, but no, let's give your one month old a shot, your two month old a shot, and now a three months old another shot, and when they reach, um, 
a six months old. Let's give them another fourth shot. So right about now, guys, we're at 10 minutes. We're, we can't continue talking about this on sensor tube. So thanks for watching. We're going to move over to Rumble exclusively now. Again, it's Ernie Racing on Rumble. And five, four, three, two, one. And we're free, everybody. We're 